Hi, Amit Sharma. Welcome you all to my channel Mathematical Coaching Center. In today's class, we will start a new chapter problem on simultaneous linear equation. This chapter mainly deals with the word problem. To solve the word problem, we have some steps. Step number one, read the question very nicely and properly. Step number two, whatever you have to find, you will take it as x and y. Step number three, now taking this very well, x and y will form the simultaneous linear equation 1 and 2. Now you will solve this equation by elimination method since the elimination method is the easiest method among all the methods. Now let's start today's class. So here we have question problem on simultaneous linear equation. So it's a word problem. So word problem will convert in an equation and will solve by the elimination method because elimination method is the easiest method. So you can see here the sum of two numbers. So as you know sum, what does the sum means? Sum means plus. Sum means plus two number we have is 50 and their difference. Difference means is your minus. Difference is your minus is 16. Find the number. So we don't know the number so what you will take solution solution what you will take let the let the two number be let the two numbers be x and y so we have taken the two number be x and y so now as we know that sum sum means plus that means what i'll get I'll get x plus y is equal to 50. So I got x plus y is equal to 50. So I'll take this as equation 1. Now you can see what you have difference. So difference means it's your minus. So this will be your x minus y is equal to how much we have differences? 16. So this will be my equation 2. Now I'll use elimination method to solve this answer. So you can see here x plus y 50 x minus y equals to 16 so no need to multiply because the coefficient is 1 this side also this side is also 1 so now what i'll do i'll add this two. now no need to change the sign also because plus minus opposite sign is there here is plus plus so opposite sign means i can cancel there only so no need to change the sign so this y y get cancel now x plus x is your 2x equals to 50 plus 16 is your 66 so therefore x equals to 66 divided by 2, 2 it will get cancelled so I got 33. So I got x equals to 33. Now I have to do putting the value. Putting the value of x equals to 33 in equation 1. So I will put the value in equation 1. So what do you have equation 1? x plus y is equal to 50. So x I got 33 so I can put this 33 plus y is equal to 50 so therefore what I'll get y is equal to 50 minus 33 so 50 minus 33 what I'll get I'll get 17 so therefore I got the answer therefore the numbers are therefore the numbers are what I got x x is how much 33 and y is how much and 17 so this is my answer and you can check the answer also how you can check already I have told you left hand side what do you have x plus y so what is the x 33 plus y is 70 33 plus y 17 is your 50 so you can see 50 is there that means our answer is correct so you'll get how much marks 3 marks so now let's do the another sum this one is one of the very important question so you can see here, the cost of 5 kg sugar and 7 kg rice is 153. Suppose you went to the market and you bought 5 kg sugar and 7 kg rice and you paid how much? 153 rupees. Okay, so another day you went and you bought 7 kg sugar and 5 kg rice in 147. Now they have asked us what will be the cost price of 6 kg sugar and 10 kg rice. So we don't know the value, we don't know the cost of 1 kg sugar and 1 kg rice. So first we will find the cost of 1 kg sugar and 1 kg rice. So if we don't know then what we will do? Solution, what we will take? Let. 
so let the cost of cost of 1 kg sugar 1 kg sugar be x and 1 kg rice be y so i have taken x and y so according to question what that says in the first one so you can see here 5 kg sugar 5 kg sugar means it will be 5 x 5 into x and means plus what you are buying rice that means 7 kg rice means rice is your y equals to how much we will get 153 so this will take it as equation 1 next again what they are given again they are given what you have got 7 kg sugar so 7 kg sugar means 7 sugar is x so it will be 7 x plus 5 kg rice 5 kg rice means 5 sugar is, is rice is y equals to what is the price 147 so this i'll take it as equation 2 so i formed the equation 1 and 2 now we'll solve this by elimination method so you can see here i will make x same so x you have see here is 5 and this side is 7 is there so this 7 you will multiply up and this 5 you will multiply down so i am eliminating in this x i am eliminating okay so what do you what i'll get here 7 5s are 35x plus 7 7s are 49y equals to 153 into 7 so we have 7 3s are 21 2 7 5s are 35 36 37 3 7 1s are 7 8 19 so how much i got 1071 now i am multiplying by 5 5 7s are 35x now you can see x x same 35 35 okay plus 5 5s are 25y equals to or oh, 5 7s are 35 i got 3 5 4s are 20 23 so 2 5 1s are 5 6 7 so i got this now can i cancel this no because both are plus now we have to change the sign so this will be your minus this plus also will be minus and this plus also will be minus now you can see 35 35x will get cancelled so that's why it is called as elimination method now here you can see here plus minus is minus 45 minus 25 so how much it will be i think so it will we'll get 24y equals to now 1071 minus 735 so how much i'll get let's do the rough work now you can see here the rough work so no minus 7 you will pass one here 11 11 minus 5 is your 6 now how much is there 6 6 minus 3 is your 3 now how much is there 10 10 minus 7 is your 3 so i got 336 so this will be your 336 this work you have to do on the right side of the same paper in exam since i don't have space so that's why i have done in a paper so y is equal to 336 divided by 20 4 now we can cancel this by 2 2 1s are 2 2 2 are 4 this 2 1s are 2 2 6 are 12 2 8 are 16 2 6 are 12 now you can see 2 8 are 16 2 4 are 8 2 3 are 2 4 are 8 2 2 are so now it will get cancelled 3 1s are 3 3 1s are 3 3 4 are 12 so what i got therefore y is equal to 14 so i got y is equal to 14 now what I have to do, I have to do the putting the value of y in equation 1 or equation 2. So therefore now putting the value of y is equal to 14 in equation 1. So I will put in equation 1. So copy the equation 1. What do you have? 5x plus 7y equals to 153. What is the value of y? 5x plus 7. The value of y is how much? 14. So instead of y, I'll put 14 equals to 153. So 5x plus, now I'll multiply. 7 4s are 28. 2 7 1s are 7, 8 9. So 98 equals to 153. So 5x equals to what will be? 153. This plus 98, when it go, that's it, it will be minus 98. So 5x equals to 153 minus 98. So how much I'll get? Let's do the raw work here only. 153 98. So minus. Pass one here. So how much it will be? 5. This side is your 14. So 14 minus 9 is your 5. So I got 55. 
so this will get cancelled 5 1s are 5 5 11 are so therefore x equals to 11 so therefore what I got x equals to 11 and y is equal to 14 that means the price of 1 kg sugar is 11 and 1 kg rice is 14 but they have asked us the cost of 6 kg sugar and the 10 kg rice therefore the cost of the cost of 6 kg sugar and 10 kg rice equals to what will be this 6 into sugar what is the price of sugar x plus 10 kg rice 10 kg rice means 10 into rice is how much it's y so now i'll put the value of x and y 6 into x x is how much 11 plus 10 into y is how much 14 now i'll multiply 6 11 as 66 plus 10 into 14 is your 140 when I'll add this to how much I'll get 206. So that means the cost of 6 kg sugar and the 10 kg rice is 206. So this is your final answer. And this carries how much marks? 4 marks. Here we have one of the very important questions. In this question, you can see that there are 38 coins in a collection of 20 paise coin. So we have 20 paise coin and 25 paise coin. The total coins are 38 and the total value of collection is 8 rupees 50 paise. Suppose you think that you have a box. In that box you have 38 coins together. And in that coin, in that box, just you have 20 paise coin and the 25 paise coin only you have. And when you count that total money, the total money was 8 rupees 50 paise. So what we don't know here is that each 20 paise coin and 25 paise coin we don't know. So what you'll do? Solution. What will take? Let the number of coins, let the number of coins 20 paise, 20 paise be x. So 20 paise coin I am taking as x and that of 25 paise, 25 paise I am taking as b y. So I have a collection of coin and 20 paise coin is x and that of 25 paise coin is y so what they are given is that according to the equation total coin they are given us how much total coin we have 38 that means i can write x plus y is equal to 38 so this i'll take it as equation 1 so total coin i have 38 now what do you have 20 paise coin 20 paise coin means i can write 20x plus 25 Paise coin means how many y is there? Y 25y equals to you can see here what do you have 8.50. So this I can write 850 paise. So this will be your 2. Why I have changed this in paise? Because they had given us 20 paise. This is your 20 paise, it's not rupees. That means this side also has to be in paise only. So as you know, what do you have since since rupees? 8.50 equals to 850 paise as you know that 1 rupee has 100 paise now we have to calculate both the values so how you can calculate the, both the values you can see here what we have this side we have 20 and this side we have 1 nothing means we have 1 then this 1 will be multiplied down and this 20 will get multiplied up now we will multiply so how much I will get 20 ones are 20x plus 20 into y I will get 20y equals to 38 into 20 so what will be just we will multiply by 2 2 8 are 16 1 3 2 are 6 76 and just we will add 0 now you will multiply by 1 so it will be 20x plus 25y equals to 850 now what you can do can i cancel this both eliminate no so that means i have to change the sign plus opposite is your minus again this plus opposite will be minus and this plus opposite also will be minus now 20x 20x will get cancelled opposite in sign that's why it get cancelled now you can see plus minus plus minus is your minus 25 minus 20 is your 5y what will the sign of this since 25 is bigger, what do you have sign? Minus because this has been changed. So this will be your minus y, 
5y equals to what will be this? No plus minus is minus. So 850 minus 760. So 850 minus 760 is your 90. Who is bigger? 850 what do you have sign? Minus. So minus minus get cancelled. So I got y is equal to 90 upon 5. 5 it will cancel. 5 ones are 5. 5 ones are 5. 5. Mm, 5 it is a 40. So I got therefore y is equal to 18. So I got the value y is equal to 18. Now what you have to do next step putting the value of y in equation 1. So putting the value of y is equal to 18 in which equation I will put equation 1. Why I will put in equation? Equation 1 is simple. Now you will copy equation 1. What do you have equation 1? x plus y is equal to 38. What is the value of y? y is 18. So x plus 18 equals to 38. So plus 18 I will take other side. So it will be minus 38 minus 18. So 38 minus 18 will be your 20. So therefore I got the value of x is 20 and I got the value of y is 18. So how many of each are there? So therefore, 20 paise coin, 20 paise coin, number of 20 paise coin are, 20 paise coin is x, so equals to, how much I got, 20, and number of, number of 25 paise coin, 25 paise coin are, how much I got, 25 paise coin is y, so y how much I got, 18, so I got the, both the answer. Okay, so this is one of the very important question and it carries four marks. If you want to check, you can check this answer also. So you can see x plus y. So 20 plus 18, almost I'll get 38. Can you see this side, right hand side is also 38. So that's my correct answer. So please like, share and subscribe to our channel for future update.